A blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating from the book of Luke, chapter 4 and verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for He has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released, that the blind will see, that the oppressed will be set free. In Luke chapter 4 verses 18 to 19, Jesus reads from Isaiah chapter 61 verses 1 and 2 and from Isaiah 56 verse 6. Born a Jew, Isaiah was a prophet who witnessed one of the most turbulent periods in Jerusalem's history from both the political and religious standpoints. He is one of the most well-known prophets in the Bible for his predictions of the coming of the Messiah who would redeem his people from their sins. This morning we see that Jesus read the prophecy written almost 700 years before his arrival which was in fact fulfilled through him. The most important lesson we learn this morning is that when God affirms and gives a word, He is indeed faithful to accomplish it in His time. No word that God has ever spoken will go void. This is still the immutable character of our great God. What a great comfort and assurance we have. As A.W. Tozer declared, I cannot for the life of me see any reason in the world why anyone should be fearful and timid saying, I am afraid I can't make it. I am afraid God can't keep me. God can keep the stars in their courses and the planets in their orbits. God can keep all his vast display of might everywhere throughout the universe, surely God can keep you. It is like a fly perched on a seat in an airplane, mourning and trembling for fear that the plane can't carry its weight. The plane weighs several tons and it has several tons of people and baggage on it. The fly is so light that it is impossible outside of a laboratory to even weigh the little guy. And yet, we can imagine him sitting there flapping his little wings and saying, I'm just afraid this plane won't be able to hold me up. If you are willing to turn yourself over to the Lord's care, he is able to provide and protect, sustain and guard you till the very end. And his word is true. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace that carries me through. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Shalom Maranatha.